2.3, number 16. This is a fraction equation, so eventually we're going to want to multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD to make the denominators all cancel out. But first, because there's parentheses here, oftentimes it's easier to distribute first and get rid of parentheses. It's just nicer to look at and it's more clear who gets the LCD multiplied onto it. So distributing we get minus a quarter x, minus minus is plus one quarter times eight, plus half x plus half times two equals x take away three. Now we can do some canceling. Four goes into eight twice, two goes into two once, and rewriting we get minus a quarter x plus two plus half x plus one equals x minus three. And we can go ahead and add the 2 and the 1 together. It'll just make things a little bit easier to look at. Minus a quarter x, bring down the half x, plus 2 plus 1 is 3, equals x, take away 3. Now we're ready to multiply both sides by the LCD. And for 2 and 4, the LCD would be 4. Times 4, times 4, what happens is the LCD distributes into every term. So let's go ahead and do that. 4 times minus 1 fourth x plus 4 times half x plus 4 times 3 equals 4 times x minus 4 times 3. Okay, and you can see here that every term has the LCD of 4. And now we can cancel. 4 into 4 is gone. 2 into 4 leaves a 2. Rewriting we get minus x plus 2x plus 12 equals 4x take away 12. Alright, good. There's no fractions at all. Just a regular linear equation. Take away x plus 2x, so we're going to collect like terms. That gives us just an x plus 12 equals 4x take away 12. Now get x's to one side. So let's subtract this x on both sides. That leaves us 12 equals 3x take away 12. Adding 12 to both sides because we want the numbers to go away from the variable. Oops, that's not a divide, that's an add. That gives us 24 equals 3x. Dividing by 3 we get our answer. 8 equals x.